Dear students, uh, welcome to the new episode. In this episode, uh, I'm going to continue the rest of the questions. Uh, we have arrived uh, to the section B. That means we have completed 30 questions. So in this episode, I'm going to continue uh, to solve the section B, which is question 31 to uh, 40. Here in this section B, it, uh, it's a little bit different from the section A. Here for each of the questions in this section, one or more of the uh, three number statement, one to three, may be correct. Decide whether each of the statement is or it's not correct. You may find it helpful to put a tick against the statement that you consider to be correct. Here just an... Uh, uh, a hint which it will help you to uh, pick the correct statements uh, quickly so let's start with the question 31 here which molecules which molecules have an over dipole moment uh, let's start with the first one here carbon monoxide yes this one partially negative, this one partially positive, so it will be this side. Uh, phosphine, yes, also phosphine, uh, phosphorus in the group number five. So H, sorry, here we have another H, we have another H here so the dipole it will be in this one because this one partially negative each hydrogen partially positive partially positive partially positive so we have uh, dipole moment carbon dioxide we don't have it because it's uh, linear and the effect of each sorry here this one is yes, partially negative, partially positive, and this one partially negative. So the effect of this oxygen will cancel the effect of this one. So here we will not have a uh, uh, dipole moment. So only one and two, which is B. In this question 32, the diagram illustrates the enthalpy changes of the uh, of a set of reactions R to S, S to U, T to U, or R to T. Which statements are correct? The enthalpy change for uh, the transformation from U, here is U, to R. That means this one should be opposite. That means, just one minute, sorry. Then to this side. So let's calculate it. That means if it's uh, S to U, it's exothermic. Sorry, S to U. It's if it's endothermic, that means U to S should be exothermic. So negative. <coughs> sorry, negative ninety-two plus it will be. Uh, here R to S it's exo so S to R should be endo so 134 so 134 minus 42 and it's a, so this statement is correct the enthalpy change for uh, the transformation T here is T to S it's endothermic we will see this one negative t, uh, t to u it's negative uh, 75 and from u to s it will be also negative 92 the summation here it will be uh, 
negative that means the result so if it's endothermic that means the final result should be positive so this statement it will be uh, incorrect the enthalpy change for transformation R to T R to T we don't have it but we have this this pathway so you can calculate it clearly so from R to S it's exo negative from R to S it's negative 100 uh, 30 uh, 43 sorry and from s to u it's positive 92 and from u to t should be positive also 75 so it's clearly it will be uh, the result it will be in a positive so because this part is more than this one so this one is also incorrect so only you have one it's correct which is D the question 33 which statement about reversible reaction are correct an increasing concentration of a reactant always increase the concentration of product yes because you know in the reversible reaction if you increase this side so the reaction it will be shifted to the right so the concentration of product it will be increased again so this statement is correct an increase in temperature always increase the rate at which the equilibrium is established that means when you increase the temperature both of these it will be increased so this one it's also uh, correct statement three an increase in temperature always increase the concentration of the product at equilibrium this one is totally wrong because if the reaction the forward reaction it's exothermic so here when you will increase the temperature maybe the reaction it will be uh, the reaction it will be shifted to the left that means here the concentration of product it will be decreased by the time so it's a three it's a totally wrong so only one and two uh, are correct statements so the uh, the answer for 33 it will be B here in the question 34 a chemist puts a sample of dilute aqueous hydrochloric acid into beaker 1 so here hydrochloric acid in beaker 1 she adds a sample of zinc sample of zinc then measures the rate of production of hydrogen gas she then puts a different sample of hydrochloric acid into beaker here we have different sample that means the concentration could be different and also she adds a different sample here so the sample of zinc also is different that means here in the then she measures the rate of production of hydrogen so in the experiment number two she used different hydrochloric acid and different sample of zinc from the experiment one the rate of reaction in a beaker 2 is greater than the rate of reaction in beaker 1 so here we can uh, which factors could help to explain this observation the reaction in beaker 1 has higher activation energy than the reaction in beaker this is totally wrong because activation energy for the reaction between zinc and hydrochloric is, is a, it's a constant constant because the reaction is the same reaction uh, to the zinc in beaker 1 is in large piece than the zinc in beaker 2 this is a logic uh, statement because here if, you, if she used in beaker 1 large piece of zinc that means uh, the surface area surface area it's uh, that means a surface area it will be uh, 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 small or we uh, if, if you will compare it with the zinc in beaker 2 that means here in beaker 2 maybe she used the zinc as a powder but here in a beaker 1 she used uh, as a lump so 
the beaker to the rate of reaction of production of uh, hydrogen it will be faster so this one is correct statement and question uh, stated uh, statement three the acid in beaker one is at lower concentration than this one it's also correct so two and three uh, that means two and three that means the best answer is C In some rice growing parts of the world, farmers use a combination of paddy fields and a fish farm. That means they are uh, growing up the rice and fish. Rice paddy fields are flooded for much of the growing cycle and water running off the fields flows the throw pins uh, where fish are raised nitrogen based fertilizer so it's very clear from the question they are talking about fertilizers are generally very soluble because most of the fertilizers are nitrate or uh, ammonium compounds or phosphate compounds or potassium chlorides so all of the fertilizers are very soluble in the water so which problem could result from farmers applying excess nitrogen based fertilizer to their paddy so decreased fish production in the fish pens it's very clear yes because the fertilizer they will kill the uh, marines in the sea or in the pens so this one's correct decreased levels of oxygen in the water yes because the when the these uh, marines when they will die they they, they will uh, uh, biodegraded biodegraded how by bacteria and bacteria that needs oxygen so the level of oxygen in the water it will be decreased so this one is correct and the statement three increase the growth of algae in the fish pens this one is also correct because algae it's plants and you have already you have used fertilizers so the rate of growth it will be increased so both of them are correct so it's a In a sample containing 0.4 mole of calcium nitrate was decomposed by heating in a roaring benzene burner flame until there was no, no further decomposition. In this question, you have to memorize the decomposition of calcium nitrate. Calcium nitrate, when it will be decomposed, you will form calcium oxide plus uh nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen so you have to balance this equation uh to balance this equation you have here calcium there so two mole of calcium nitrate with two mole of calcium oxide four mole of nitrogen dioxide and one mole of oxygen so you can see the number of moles of calcium from the balanced chemical equation uh, number of moles of calcium nitrate it's totally equal to the number of mole of calcium oxide so you have started with 0.4 so 0.4 of calcium oxide this is correct do you have nitrogen no this is statement it's incorrect uh, here oxygen yes we have in the reaction but the number of mole of oxygen should be according to this equation should be 0.2 but here in the statement is 0.4 so this one is also incorrect so uh, only you have one statement is correct so the best answer is D in the question 37 which reagents when used in an excess can be used to make sodium lactate from lactic acid here you don't need to know what is this lactate or uh, that means here as a general you have converted carboxylic acid to 
sodium carboxylate. By adding what? By adding what? Here. You have kept this OH. That means this OH hasn't affected. So if it hasn't affected, only the acidic hydrogen it's affected. So that means here your reaction is uh, you need to use uh, very weak salt alkali, which is uh, 37. That means here you can use sodium carbonate and you can use sodium hydroxide because this sodium this sodium in the organic chemistry sodium can react with any OH doesn't matter if it's carboxylic acid or alcohol but here in the according to this question the OH uh, hasn't reacted only the OH of carboxylic group okay so you can use 2 and 3 which is C. Question 38. You have chlorine atoms in the upper atmosphere cause the breakdown of ozone. According to these reactions, here you have Cl, it's reacted with ozone, you have formed oxygen gas and ClO. And this ClO, sorry for that, and this ClO, uh, it's reacted with oxygen and this oxygen uh, sorry and this reaction has formed chlorine as atom and oxygen gas so which statement are correct when referring to these chlorine atoms the chlorine atoms act as a catalyst yes it's correct because it's involved in the reaction without any change you have in the reactant chlorine and at the end you have produced again chlorine so it's like as a catalyst the chlorine atoms are free radical. Yes, why is free radical? Because we have uh, three types of chlorine. We have chlorine as a gas, we have chloride, but if it's like, like this one, that means this one is free radical. So this is a free radical. And the chlorine atoms are formed by hydrolytic fission of a covalent bond in the chlorofluorocarbons actually if you need it to form any free radical that means the heterolytic fission doesn't work should be homolytic from for this carbon chlorofluorocarbons okay so from chlorofluorocarbons homolytic fission you will form free radical because free radicals are formed from only homolytic fission so uh, sorry so it's only one and uh, two that means the best answer is b 39 an inorganic organic compound c reacts with sodium to give a combustible gas as one product and z doesn't give a yellow precipitate with alkaline aqueous iodine so here in this uh, this com this compound that means you need to have OH okay and this OH should it be uh, uh, shouldn't be secondary that means should it be in secondary alcohol which is located on carbon number two that means we don't need to have this group. This group we shouldn't have it. Why? Because this group it give us positive result with alkaline aqueous iodine. Uh, so let's check the ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. It gives hydrogen with sodium. Yes, and this uh, alkaline aqueous iodine it's uh, give a uh, positive result with this group also with this one and this one you will tell me this group could be similar to this one yes but this is a carboxylic group in the carboxylic acid there is no 
uh, reaction with aqueous uh, iodine, alkaline aqueous iodine. Only if you have ketone or aldehyde like this one, it give positive result with this one. Or alcohol and this OH should be secondary and it's located where? In the carbon number 2. So ethanoic acid is correct. Pentanol, you have 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, correct. You will form hydrogen here and no reaction with this one. And propanol, one propanol actually. Hydrogen, it will be given here and there is no group like this one. So all of them are correct. So it's A. Pass the question, which is question 40. Here you have a compound. There is a three oxygens three oxygens okay and this compound with acidified a potassium dichromate should give you two carboxyl groups and one ketone that means you need to think about a compound like this one this one could be aldehyde or alcohol and here this carbon should be alcohol or already she is ketone this group and this one should be also aldehyde and alcohol I will explain it why I have so if this group it's Aldehyde, uh, sorry, it's uh, ketone, that means already you have here ketone. And if it's alcohol, OH, that means it will be oxidized here. To alcohol. And this one, if it's aldehyde, that means it will be converted at the end to carboxylic acid. Same thing for this one. So this one could be, f for this uh, option, one, it's impossible. Why? Because here you have CH2. And here in this carbon, I told you, we need to have alcohol or ketone. So this one is incorrect. Option two, you have aldehyde, uh, sorry, you have alcohol here, it's correct. And here you have alcohol, it's correct. And here at the end you have aldehyde, so it's correct. So this one is correct. And uh, option three, here you have alcohol, you have ketone, you have alcohol so all of them if you uh, two and the three if you will oxidize them you will get this compound if you reduce this one the aldehyde it will be converted into alcohol <clears throat> and this one already alcohol this one already alcohol and this one ketone if you reduce it it will be converted into alcohol so the X actually could be this one or this one, two and three. So the best answer is C. So by the end of this question, we have completed all this past paper. We have solved uh, 40 questions and uh, these 40 questions, uh, the first 30 questions are in a section A, which is one statement should be correct. And in the section B that we have solved today, uh, maybe one statement or two statements or all of them should be or uh, may be correct. So uh, thank you for listening and uh, see you in the next episode.